Welcome back to Behind the Fame. I'm your host, Elysia Frischberg. It's time to continue Behind the Fame with Danielle Babb, Fox News. You are saying that there's a lot of people that lost their job from the financial industry, technology industry. Right now, you're helping people, teaching them online. Tell me exactly what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I am an online professor uh, in addition to my sort of hobby work in the media, and uh, I've been an online professor for about 11 years, and a lot of people don't realize there was such a thing back in the uh, 11 years ago that we had online teaching, and what was happening back then is traditional schools had an online component, and it was a way to get working adults into the into the academic environment and help them earn advanced degrees, but they'd only take classes part-time online, and they'd still have to go on ground. In the last maybe half of a decade, we've seen um, a group of universities come on board that are fully regionally accredited, the same accreditation that an Ivy League university would have. We've seen them hire faculty members both full-time and part-time and literally create a business of online teaching. So it's entirely possible that people who have been laid out off in the technology and finance sectors, like you've mentioned, have been hit really hard. These people often have advanced degrees, master's degrees, or even more, doctoral degrees, and they're qualified to go into a business for themselves teaching other people how to manage portfolios, manage their finances, how to um, use computers, teach technology to students. The students are generally working adults, so you're really working with your peers, which is mutually rewarding because you learn so much from them also, and there are a ton of jobs out there today. It's amazing. And uh, tell us about how to access your work. Well, you can go to my website at thebabgroup.com. I have forums I have set up. Um, they're, they're free for a while. Uh, we're going to have maybe about six-month period where we're going to get a lot of people in there really talking and helping each other. And the goal is to post jobs, to make it very transparent where to go and get them. This has been an, an area of the market that has been very underground. So not a lot of people are aware of it. And when people find out about it, they don't like the secret to get out. I wrote a book a couple of years ago with one of my dear friends and co-author, Dr. Jim Mirabella, called Make Money Teaching Online. And while I'm not a big fan of the title because it sounds money-oriented, it was really about using your passion to help other people by teaching them and making a career out of it in the process. And that sort of opened the door uh, to a lot of opportunities people didn't know were out there. And now the difficult part is finding those jobs. And so the goal is to help people be able to locate them, take the mystery out of what to do, how to transfer their resumes that from, from a professional resume to a curriculum vita that's required for, for the academic community, and how to make that transition so that they can, they can go out there in the workplace and find something new. The, the, the group does CV writing. We do all sorts of things to help people prepare for those interviews and all the jobs that are potentially out there. Ladies and gentlemen, I found Danny because... She's a good friend of Dr. Rutledge. How did you run into Dr. Rutledge? Dr. Rutledge and I met in California. We both do uh, work on Fox and Fox Business, and we met through a, an individual that was running a studio out in Irvine. He introduced us, thought we might have a lot in common, and turns out we both, uh, we both want to save the world, and we want to remind people that the end of the world has not come and is not coming, and that economic downturns are part of the norm. You can't have heaven unless you have hell, and sometimes uh, you have to go through a bit of hell to get there, and um, we found a passion in helping other people, and as a result, we have, uh, you know, been working with Fox Business together now, helping entrepreneurs on the weekend on the 1 to 2 o'clock show uh, really understand how to start their business, get funding, move forward, why this is a good time. We've had people from 4-year-olds to 70-year-olds start businesses as a result of our show and that joint passion that we share and interest in really helping people has has created a wonderful friendship and a fantastic business partnership okay i know your background is real estate can you tell me what is going on with real estate Oh, I wish I could tell you everything that's going on with real estate. I have been an investor for several years. I bought when the market was down. I bought when the market is up. I have some properties very underwater, and I have some properties doing very well. I have a real estate business that rents out properties and is in it for the long term to hold. And I will tell you, I have, I have some markets where my homes are worth half of what I owe. I have some markets where even in the past couple of years, they've appreciated, particularly in Texas, which is a great area to invest in, I believe, right now, and in Idaho, um, any place that boomers are moving. I think we're going to start to see 
unfortunately, much is the same for the rest of 09, but I think in, in 2010 you're going to start to see st- some stabilization, and I base that prediction on one thing, and that's inventory. Every time we hear a report that builders aren't building, the media makes it sound like that's doom and gloom. That is the best thing that can happen for real estate because we have to get the inventory off the books. Right now, forms, homes are at an all-time affordable low. Interest rates are at an insanely low price. I know of someone who just got a jumbo mortgage at four and three quarter percent with a 700 FICO score. Uh, we have incre- it, it's it's not easy to get credit today, but if you can get it with a good FICO, you are in a fantastic position to take advantage of the first time home buyer credit, the eight thousand dollars if you hold the home for three years, to get assistance in purchasing the home, uh, to do an FHA loan with three percent or less down. And the inventory out there is incredible. So I think people will start to jump on the deals once the credit market loosens. Some of the inventory will be reduced. We'll, then we'll see prices stabilize sometime, hopefully, 2009, 2010, in that time period. And then we'll start to see, in general, markets rebound. Where I think we're going to have continued trouble is in areas that are heavily investor-driven. And Las Vegas, Nevada, Henderson, Nevada, South Florida, where Arizona, where the most number of foreclosures are, where people came in and bought in mass and rose you raise the prices by two to three hundred percent in a matter of months. Those areas are going to take some time to recover. But in general, I think we're going to see some stability return to the market in the next eighteen months to twenty-four months. That sounds so refreshing. Where were you born, and where were you raised? And uh, uh, getting personal because people need to know you. I was born in Anaheim, California, and I was raised in a very small uh, rural town in California called Mira Loma. And uh, it's a very small town with uh, not a lot of people, very, um, very neighborly, very small community. And I moved several years later to Redlands, um, where I kind of spent the next eight years, I guess, growing up in the Loma Linda University environment. And, um, and just, you know, working my behind off to get through school and maintain a full-time job like a lot of people do. And uh, it's been a blast. Mm-hmm. You have children? I do not have any children. I raise koi fish. Um, they're my children, <laughs> and they're, they don't give you quite as good of feedback, I guess, but, um, <laughs> it's, but they do know your hand when you feed them, so there's All some right. benefits there. Okay, one more time. How can they access your work? Uh, you can go to thebabgroup.com, and um, TV spots are up there. All of the work that Dr. Rutledge and I have done is up there. And forums are there, free information is there, blogs are there, people can interact with each other, ask each other questions, lots of opportunity for people to get to know each other and interact, which is what this is all about, not counting on the government, but counting on ourselves and each other. Daniel Babb, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. It's a wonderful time spending with you. We learned so much from you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right. Have a good day. You too. Stick around for a few minutes. We'll be back to continue to go behind the fame. You're listening to the Biz Radio Network. I'm Alicia Frischberg.